In developing news, a terror plot may have been thwarted in Europe. A number of suspects, including members of Hamas, were arrested under suspicion of planning attacks against Jews. As Liz Lander reports, police in Denmark are still looking for four additional suspects with the world on high alert this holiday season. Top U.S. officials are in the Middle East today as the war rages on between Israel and Hamas. Thank you for your support. President Biden's top national security advisor meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu in Tel Aviv, reiterating that Israel has a right to defend itself against Hamas, but also saying... I have and will continue to state President Biden and the United States' commitment to preserving space for peace for a two-state solution where Israel's security is guaranteed. This comes as President Biden says Israel has been engaged in, quote, indiscriminate bombing, and Sullivan is urging the country to scale back intense fighting and instead pursue a, quote, lower-intensity operation. Sullivan also traveling to the West Bank to meet with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, who urged the U.S. to press Israel for a ceasefire. The U.S. Defense Secretary also in the Middle East attempting to ease tensions after U.S. troops and commercial ships continue to be attacked by Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in the Red Sea. Meanwhile, officials in the U.S. and around the world have been concerned about the conflict spilling over into other countries. We're working around the clock to identify and disrupt potential attacks by those inspired by Hamas's horrific terrorist attacks in Israel. And a potential terror plot was foiled after suspects in several European countries were arrested after authorities say they indicated they'd attack Jews and Jewish institutions. Some suspects may have ties to Hamas. The IDF announced that they had mistakenly killed three hostages during combat in Gaza. The agency expressed remorse over what it calls a tragic incident. In Washington, Liz Landers, ABC News. And Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calls the three Israelis' death an unbearable tragedy and vows to continue to try to bring all hostages home safely. Meanwhile,